एच आर वी और हार्ट रेट वेरिएबिलिटी इट्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर इंड्योरेंस एथलीट्स और एनी एथलीट फॉर दैट मैटर एंड आई वॉज थिंकिंग आई वुड स्पेंड अ फ्यू मिनट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑटोनोमस नर्वस सिस्टम और पैरासिम्पेथेटिक और सिम्पेथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम बट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट इन प्योर लेवन स्टॉक so before we understand heart rate variability let's understand heart rate itself so what's heart rate it's at the rate the heart is beating correct right? so you see your data you see you look at your resting heart rate normal heart rate and uh, you get a numeric value for example you get 60 as your resting heart rate but what does that mean does that mean that you divide 60 by 60 to see that okay you are your heart is beating one second but every one second actually no that's not the case so what's happening so let's take this example as you breathe in you will see that your heart rate increases and as you breathe out you will see that your heart rate reduces right so what's happening it's it's the frequency of it is not constant all the time and what heart rate variability does it actually measures the variation between the heartbeats so that's what it measures it's a time that it's measuring so what what does this mean does uh, higher heart rate variability mean good or uh, lower heart rate variability mean bad or what is it let's understand that a bit more in detail generally it's considered that higher the heart rate variability the better it is the lower the heart rate variability the worse it is let's understand that through a, again a life example which may not be as true in scientific terms but let's take the example of trampoline if you're jumping on the trampoline what it's doing it's a responding you are responding to the tension that's there in the trampoline as a result you keep going up and you keep coming back to the base and then you swing back up what happens if you remove the tension from the trampoline you're not going to jump back right or you might go and fall this is exactly what happens in the case of heart rate as well so what happens you put certain stressors in the body you put certain stressors on the heart and heart keeps adapting to it by going up and going down look at ecg for example it's not linear right so when you are stressed out or you're fatigued if you have not slept well you're dehydrated you have not had right nutrition or you have not been able to manage your stress from the previous workout not recovered from there or you have anxiety in general maybe a workplace issue or things like those what will happen the heart is not able to create that response to the situation that is there so that is it's not now flexible enough to be able to adapt to that situation as a result the variability is less and less and if the variability is less that means you are stressed you are not able to respond to the situation that has come your way and that's why there is that issue how athletes use hrv in their training is early morning you wake up without having caffeine you can test your hrv for me to test i test it using a chest heart rate monitor which is a great way of doing it um you can take a brand that's anything of high quality i use one of these not to mention about the brand but test using one of these uh, heart rate monitors through your chest and you will get your heart rate variability if you see your heart rate variability number is lesser than the regular days that possibly means that either you have not had a great sleep or you have not been able to recover from the previous day or you just need a little more rest before you can go out for another bout so what does that mean you can take it easy that day either you can rest or you can go for an easy jog or run depending on the number that you see on the on the hrv screen for example so you will find a range between 20 to 200 milliseconds is the kind of hrv range and the higher it is uh, possibly above 60 um 55 60 70 at times uh, is is great but uh you can look up online to see what works for you and uh, also you'll be able to see over a period of time it improves or decreases for you hopefully this made sense and using these um, some of these uh, parameters you'll be able to make sense of hrv in a truly layman's term good luck